Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. In this video, we are going to see the static structural analysis of two gears. First, we have to draw the static structural analysis. Starting a project. First, you have to go to the engineering data for selecting the material as per your requirement. After selecting engineering data, the new window is open here. After that, you have to select a type of material. Go to the A2 engineering data and click it. After that, you have to select a type of material such as a general material, non-linear material, explicit material, etc. In this project, I have to select a general material. Inside the general materials, we have a lot of type of materials. You can select among them as per your requirement. You have to click the plus symbol for adding the material to library. I just add the grey cast iron to the library. After selecting a plus symbol, there is a mark in a book symbol. It defines the material is added to the library. After that, you have to go to geometry. In this video, I have the importing the geometry which was created and saved in a step format. After that, you have go for model. It will take a few seconds for uploading the geometry into the ANSYS. I create the geometry in a SOLIDWORKS software and save in a STP format. Now we are importing the geometry from SOLIDWORKS to ANSYS. Now our geometry is successfully imported here. After that we are carried on the another process. We have a two gears. Then we have to go for geometry. We are going to select a type of material which we add into the library just select a two gears and specify the material as per your requirement I just select a grey cast iron after that you have to go for connections there is a connection between the two gears I specify the type of connection as a bounded go to the contact region and then you have to select a type of definition as a bounded you can also use a frictional if you specify the frictional you have to specify the coefficient of friction after that we are good for measures it will take a few seconds for completing the measures in here two gears now we are creating a successful measures after that we have go for analysis setting First, we have to specify the support for the two gears. We having a support at the center of the gear. So select the center faces. Then click apply for applying the support. After that, you have to apply the load on the gear. Go to the load and select the type of forces. After that, you have to specify the geometry where we have to add the load and then click OK and apply. After that, you have to specify the direction of forces by way of components. You have to specify the force in terms of y direction. Specify the plus or minus based upon your upward or downward loads. I specify the downward loads. After that, you have to go for solution and give the solution based upon your requirement I specify the total deformation equivalent stress and strain just select a solve option to get in the result it will take a few seconds to generate the result based upon your system performance
you can also try the contact region as a frictional type of contact if you specify the frictional type of contact you have to specify the coefficient of friction likewise i specify the fixed support here you can try to give the cylindrical support or otherwise you can give the bearing support etc based upon your requirement now we get the result you can just play the animation video it will show the deformation and it will show the equivalent stress and strain which can produced in the component while we are applying the load to get the regular updates of my video please subscribe in my channel don't forget to like and share thanks for watching inshallah we will meet in the next video Yeah.